Hey guys, so in this tutorial, um, you will learn what is blob fuse and uh, why do we need blob fuse? And uh, what we will do is we will go ahead and mount a blob storage account using blob fuse. And uh, meantime, we will also spin up a Linux VM and then followed by deploying a Docker and an Apache 2 web server. And then we, what we will do is we'll use the blob storage mount as a Docker mount point that means that we will manage all the docker container data inside the blob storage and in the end you will have a knowledge on blob fuse so don't skip any of this uh, uh, videos so that you will have a full knowledge on blob fuse and how it can be used in the real time scenario thank you let's move on to the slides hey welcome to the tutorial guys today we're going to learn about blob fuse and blob fuse is basically a virtual file system driver for azure blob storage and what is the purpose of blob fuse right so blob fuse allows you to access your existing blob blob data in your storage account through linux file system i'm sure this definition doesn't make sense to you because we don't know what is the real purpose of blob fuse right okay so imagine a situation where you have your linux box and you have a docker instance and you have a container data or your app running inside the docker and over the period of time you're going to end up having multiple docker uh, container data and multiple docker instance and you're going to end up having multiple copies of docker container data or your app data so what you want to do is you you wish that you can mount this app data or your container data on a linux box on your Linux mount, right? So let's do that. So let's say like you want to have a, a single copy of your app data on your Linux box and have the Docker use that local mount point to, you know, do what all kinds of magics, right? But then again, you need to maintain this Linux box and you, main, you need to maintain the multiple copies of your container data or your app data. And that's, that's just right, not uh, easy, right? For a local administrator. And it's going to be a pain in the butt so instead of that let's bring up something called blob fuse okay let me move down the screen and now that comes the magic of blob fuse okay so what is the blob fuse is basically you have your azure blob storage and you have that blob storage mounted on to linux box and once you mount that onto the linux box you have your docker access that so what happens is you basically have your app or container data on Azure Blob Storage. So you don't have to worry about the copies. You don't have to worry about the maintenance. You don't have to worry about anything because everything is up in the cloud and your Linux machine or Docker need not have to be worrying about it. So everything, all the consistency is maintained by the Azure Blob Storage. So how is that possible? With the help of blob fuse. So this is the purpose of blob fuse. And uh, let's go and uh, you know spin up some Linux box. And inside the Linux box, I'm gonna spin up some Docker instance and have a local mount point. And let's also create a container in Azure blob storage and have that mounted onto Linux. And if I gain time, let me just spin up a small uh, Apache web server and have a small HTML web page and exposed to the public network and let's see uh, how we can do about it. Hey guys, yeah I have gone and uh, spun up a virtual machine with the Ubuntu flavor and I have done an SSH onto the box and if you're not aware of how to spin up a Ubuntu box on a virtual machine, um, see the top right corner um, I have placed a card where you have taught um, how to create a virtual machine using Ubuntu flavor. So I have also installed Docker on this image, uh, Docker inside this uh, virtual box. And uh, please uh, refer the installation doc uh, on the video description for Docker. So if I type Docker here and I should get all the help commands. So that means that our Docker is currently installed on this box. Let's uh, see the status. Let's do one more validation. I'll just log in as sudo su and let's just see the status of the docker instance make sure that everything is nice and clean yep everything is nice and clean it's uh, loaded so let's just jump on to the next step 
okay guys so i have installed apache 2 uh, on the linux machine again uh, for all the commands please see the video description i have uh, laid down all the steps inside and let me clear up the screen and next thing is we have to install the blob uh, binaries so to install the blob fuse binary just use this uh, w2 w get command um, the url i have given in the description just hit enter and that will install so after downloading the packages just fire this command dpkg and uh, that will do the magic and once once that is done let's just update the package one more time sudo apt get update and uh, once that is done again i will resume the video back so now I have installed the blob fuse uh, binary and everything should be nice and clean. Let's just clear the screen and just type blob fuse and that says command not found. Let me check one more time. Apologize guys, I have did install the blob fuse. So let me just uh, install the sudo apd install blob fuse uh, one more time. Okay, now it's installing and uh, once that is done, uh, let's just fire blob fuse command one more time. That should uh, show us some syntax. Okay, so once you receive the syntax, that means that the blob fuse binary is in place. So what are all the things that we need uh, to use uh, the blob fuse, right? First thing is we need to have the storage account, Azure storage account. And possibly we should also grab the Azure Azure storage access key or the Azure storage SAS token. So I'm going to grab the Azure access key and Azure storage account and it should have that as an environmental variables. So let me grab that and uh, come again. So let's create a storage account for our blob views. So it's a simple uh, straightforward. So let's choose on the resource group and just type Docker thousand data and uh, advanced networking everything should be good we just create review and create and once the blo uh, storage account is created let's go and create a container so our deployment is complete uh, let's just grab the docker uh, name it's docker thousand data so let's go back to the linux terminal and just export uh, the storage account that it is looking for so export Azure storage account docker data and once that is done now we need to grab the Azure keys so let's let me go grab the Azure keys and then come back to the screen okay guys so this is my access key let me just double single quote it and then export it and now we are good to go and do the next process so let's create a mount point inside the Linux box so let's do mkdir hyphen b slash m t and let's just say that you know like uh, testing or like let me do a home project home project folder okay and to go and then we need to also have another thing that i didn't mention is we need to have a temp path so for that we need to create another mount point so here you can see that this is the mount folder and hyphen f and temp path so let's do uh, another uh, mkdir for the temporary path so let's just say amount temp or just temp number 11 okay and uh, this is also done now we are good to go and fire the blob fuse command the screen and uh, let's just fire the blob fuse command uh, so i'll explain one more time so this is our source mount point that we just created on the Linux box and um, our Docker container name is doc1000 and our temporary path that we just created is on TPN11 and we just mentioned that you know anybody can use it so allow others and let's just hit enter and this will say that no config file done reading and uh, invalid argument allow others so let's just see what says in the etc blob fuse so let's just see uh, what it says in the vi etc.fuse.conf and you can see that uh, this has been 
mom uh, commented out so let's just uncomment and make it that user allow others so that means that we are um, allowing even the non root user to specify um, to use this uh, blob views so let's do that and then fire the command once again let's comment it out and I believe this is something junk let's just type O and then hit enter now you go guys so it's it's been uh, mounted so that means our whatever we put inside this mount point is possibly going to go inside the Azure blob storage so let's just test that out before we do anything so let's clear the screen and uh, let's just verify that mount point one more time its own project okay so let me do cd mount, pro mount project and let's just test some files so touch sample.txt Touch sample ubuntu let's just name as ubuntu.txt let's touch one more file let's touch docker dot file docker dot txt let's touch one more file docker file dot txt and let's just go back to the azure portal and see uh, if there is any of these three files inside our container and it should be because we have just mounted the blob storage onto this local mount point and uh, that should have the copies of it so i'm inside the azure portal and uh, this is our uh, storage account now let's go on to the container let me just space it in the truth of the moment so docker thousand is our container and there you go guys so whatever the file that we created onto the linux is already being copied onto this uh, container so that means our blob fuse is started working so now let's just go on to the scenario that we are talking. So what we have done is so far is we created Azure Blob Storage, we installed Blob Fuse binary, we created a local mount point in the Linux, and then we have our Docker instance. So the only thing that I'm gonna do now is, as I have already installed the Apache, let me just go and uh, just create a simple HTML file inside the www.war html file and then let's expose that to the public network and let's see uh, if that file whatever that html file that i've written here is being copied on to blob and let's just mount that uh, local file system inside the docker let's go uh, mount point and then let's do a, a ls lrth and as you can see that you know i have a web web html page and inside the web html page i'm just calling a, a new york um, jpg which is just an image of New York. And the idea is actually to have the Docker run inside the Linux machine and then have the local mount system mount inside the container. And then at the same time, whatever we are putting inside this mount point is actually going to go and persist in storage account, Azure Blob storage. So let's just go back to that uh, schematic diagram and just refresh it one more time. So what we have done here now is uh, we ha we have went ahead and created Azure Blob Storage. We installed the Blob Fuse, and then we have our Docker inside the Linux machine, and we created a local mount point, which is our home project, and then we mounted the Blob Storage onto the Linux local Linux mount point, right? So um, my HTML pages are inside this home project which is our local mount point and the idea here now is to have this docker use this mount point and then in a, inside uh, the docker container and let's just spin up a apache web server and after that let's go on to the web browser and hit the public ip and expose that 8080 ports let's go back to the terminal okay guys so i have just um, executed the docker run command Basically, the command is docker run hyphen d and your container name, and then you want your port to be 8080 and exposed to 80. And you're mentioning a hyphen mount type bind, and source is mount home project. What does it mean is you're basically saying that uh, have the permission to mount the local mount inside the container. That is what we have like mount home project. So you're making this home 
project mount inside the docker container and your target is the apache user share apache to default site and then you're going to make it as a static content so let's just put it as a read only that's optional if you want to do so and then finally you are mentioning httpd 2.4 so let's just hit enter and let's see what's happening so basically it complains that um, the httpd 2.4 is not available local so it just went and installed that image so let's just clear the screen and then run it one more time and let's see what is happening now it says that the container name my whatever that i have mentioned is already in used so let's just go back and then just change the container name and see uh if we can uh, spin up so Let's add some more junk into it. Let's just one, two, three. Hit enter. enter. Now it says the driver failed programming external connectivity. And it says that bind 0080081 failed. The port is already allocated. That means we have to change the port once again. Let's do that quickly. So let's clear the screen and then run the Docker command once one more time. And now this says find already in use okay guys so the reason uh, we were getting uh, already uh, port bind issue is because we have an apache running on it right so we can't use the 8080 so i what what i did is basically just went ahead and changed the port to triple nine zero and 80. so again i'm saying that if you have a uh, error call already in bind that means that some resource is already um, locking that port so you just have to go and change the port i didn't uh, Realize that we have Apache running in this box. So that was the whole purpose. Um, I was stupid to do that. So I just changed the port and let's do a Docker PS. And we have our Docker container up and running on 9990. Let's go on to the web browser and uh, hopefully we should have our HTML up and running. So let me just open the browser and uh, have copied the public IP of Ubuntu box. Let's just paste it and hit enter. And there you go, guys. We just have that index.html page. Let me click on this JPEG, and you can see a beautiful picture of New York. So that's what uh, we have done so far. So we successfully uh, deployed the Docker. And uh, remember, uh, we used this mount point. And let's just go uh, one more time to the storage account. And uh, let's verify if our uh, HTML pages are all inside. So let's go on to our storage account in our uh, docker 100 data and then open the container and uh, we have a doc thousand and we should see our html page so here we go guys so we have our index.html and new york jpg so that means that uh, we have successfully completed uh, this uh, blob fuse tutorial and i uh, hope um, you are very confident in configuring the blob fuse and i'll put all the links down below uh, the source code on the github repository the commands that i used for installing docker apache and uh, everything so thanks for watching this tutorial and please give me a thumbs up guys i uh, haven't got anything <laughs> yet so far so please uh give me a thumbs up and I'll see you bye bye